Hey everybody and welcome back. So, if you didn't know, right now when I'm shooting this, it's winter. If you couldn't tell by this fuzzball on my head. Anyway, <clears throat> it gets cold. Yeah, it's been a little chilly here. It gets kind of dark. I don't have as much daylight, so I tend to not do as much outside. Um, I'm working on that, trying to make myself get out there and enjoy the outdoors You know, while it's cold. There are some advantages to that, but... I'm not going to get into that today. What I wanted to talk to you about was every year, I, I promise myself, I say, hey, self, during that winter downtime, you know, after the Christmas craziness is all wrapped up, during that winter downtime, we're getting a lot done. And myself usually ends up laughing at me <clears throat> because we both know it's, it's at best a sick joke. Um, and it's not going to be nearly as much done. Um, this year, this year, I'm doing way better because I've set aside a certain amount of time to, all right, this is my get projects done time. It's not free time. No, it's, it's get projects done time, which is actually what I wanted to be doing with my free time. Um, sort of in line with what I was talking about earlier with why New Year's resolutions, excuse me, <clears throat> why they don't work. So one thing that I did this year that I'm really happy about is I'm, I'm putting together our homeschool center, which is a very small bookshelf uh, relative to a lot of people. And it also has our, our printer and then our 3D printer right next to it. And today I want to talk about that 3D printer because my next project is I'm going to use these parts here in this box to upgrade my 3D printer. The kit you see in front of you is actually several different uh, conversion upgrade components all in one. It is both a conversion from a Bowden style extruder to a direct drive, which is this bracket here. And then over here, we have what's called the hot end. And this is an upgraded all metal hot end, which will allow me to use a, uh, rather than a brass nozzle, a stainless steel nozzle or a hardened steel nozzle. And We'll get into what that's going to do for me here in a bit. Oh yeah, really awesome locally sourced tea not included in the kit. Okay, I mentioned that this conversion would take us from a Bowden style drive to a direct drive. But what does all that mean? So right now, this is set up as a Bowden extruder. Meaning, we have our, our filament spool here, and if we come around back, we can see this bracket here that I 3D printed. And right there, that's the stepper motor for our extruder. And then we have, this is actually what's pushing the filament, okay? Then we have this long tube that comes down here, and this, this is our hot end. You actually see the little nozzle on the end that has the, uh, the filament come out of it, and that is what lays down all that material on our print bed here. Now, this is called the Bowden style, which it has this long tube, and you have, oh, I don't know, at least a foot of distance between the actual stepper motor doing the pushing and the hot end where you get all the melty bits. That's not all bad. So, <clears throat> The good thing about a Bowden setup is that this stepper motor only has to push the hot end. It doesn't have to push this other stepper motor around. Because here we have our, uh, what is it, X is this way, Y is, no, X is this way, Y is that way, and then Z is up and down. So this would be our X, our X axis here. Our X axis motor with a direct drive has to push this. And this is what's going to happen with direct drive. We're getting rid of this long, long tube, and we're going to replace it with an itty-bitty short one right on top of that. Now, <clears throat> from what I've read, this is a little more likely to introduce artifacts into the print. Not the end of the world, but it's, uh, it's up to consider. Also, we now are going to have more weight when we have this stepper motor all the way out here. You notice that's not really supported by anything. It's just those wheels there. All right. 
might be something we want to look at. Uh, there's a kit that you can get to uh, to take one of these screws and put that over there so they're both supported. Maybe we'll upgrade to that at a future date, especially if we have problems. Otherwise, for small stuff, it'd be just fine if we concentrate our prints over here on the, uh, the left side. The big advantage of direct drive over Bowden is this tube right here allows for a lot, it causes, I should say, it causes problems for a lot of materials, namely flexible things. So <clears throat> there are certain uh, 3D printed filaments that they're, they're almost like squishy. If you could imagine like the, the little silicon stuff, the little, you know, the popper toys that are popular right now, you can print stuff like that in a squishy, flexible kind of film. Pretty cool, but when you have something that has that much elasticity in it, a long tube like this is going to cause problems. The other thing this kit is going to allow me to do is I mentioned those hardened steel uh, the tips on that. That's going to allow me to print materials like nylon, like glass-filled nylon, which is what a lot of a lot of stuff is made out of. In fact, you look at uh, most modern handguns, I think Glock popularized it, but even before that, that's a glass-filled nylon, so it's a really rugged material. So it holds up all the temperatures, it, it, it's not something that's going to break as easily on you. So for a lot of the, the stuff I want to do, where I'm wanting to print like outdoor gear, glass-filled nylon is going to be a way better material for me. All right, ready and go.
Well, my apologies. Partway through that, the camera died. All told, it took me an hour and five minutes just to get the hardware portion done. And I haven't even done the, the firmware. Uh, there's still some software settings i got to mess with. Update the firmware to account for the uh, where everything is now, the way stuff works. <clears throat> to be honest, it wasn't that bad. But right now, I am done with all that geekery, and uh, I'm just going to go hiking. So, until next time, do cool stuff, get out and enjoy nature, and y'all take care of each other. Alright?